Hey everyone, um, good morning. Uh, today's video is actually going to be a series that it's going to take me like four or five videos to do. Um, and then I'm going to combine them all into one and post it. And that's what you're seeing here. Um, basically, I've decided, as I mentioned in my last video in the caption under the video, that making the meals themselves are relatively easy. Sorry, I'm trying to get out of the sunlight here. Um, it's the snacky stuff when we're all kind of, you know, sitting there watching movies or outside with our friends and you just want to snack and munch because we all do it. So what I am going to be showing you are a couple of different snacks or things that you can use for lunch. Um, they're all quick and easy, but I don't want to have to sit there and make seven separate videos about these. So I'm going to make the videos as I make the food over the next couple of days. And then I'm going to post them all together. You know, and then, or put them all together and then post it on here. And that's what you're going to be seeing. So you're going to be seeing over then, you know, a couple of different varieties of snack things that I make myself. Which are all within the confines of my very restrictive eating plan. So that means obviously they're all healthy across the board and you should really be good. So, um, yeah. So I hope you like these recipes. Okay, first snack, so to speak. Um, this is one that I kind of came up with on my own because, how can I put this in an a interesting way? Um... I like tuna fish. I like tuna fish sandwiches. Sorry. But I can't have tuna fish sandwiches. Because I can't have bread. And I can't have mayonnaise. So tuna fish sandwiches is kind of an... I'm sorry, but plain tuna is dry and... Ugh. You know, at least for me. So I was experimenting with different things to... Um, sorry, there was something popped up on my phone. Experimenting with different things to mix into the tuna. Now, I buy these ones because they're low sodium and they're in water. And they're little pouches, so it's a nice pre-measured amount. In this case, is uh, two and a half ounces, so it's great for a snack. Proteins, we're talking 17 grams of protein. So, anyway. Um, so, I actually... So I had to try it the other day with this. I'm sure it's showing backwards on the thing, but it's Skinny Girl Honey Tijon dressing. A salad dressing. Now, there are only two grams of carbohydrates complete in this. So um, this is one that is allowed because there's not a lot of carbs in it. I know they prefer us to have one to two maximum in anything that we have. So this is really, really good. Now, I usually get the balsamic vinaigrette when I make myself salads. But this is a, a cool one. So I'm going to show you, like, on this one. It's just a quick peel off. And then you open it up and you can kind of see inside there. So hang on. Let me, uh... Okay, anyway... Um, I do drain it personally because I don't like the excess water. Even though it's just water, you don't have to drain it. Um, I personally do. And I'm actually going to put it into the little bowl here. And just kind of comes out. Know how well you can actually see how well it kind of comes out, like in a big thing like this. Just like in regular tuna fish, when you drain it, you have to uh, kind of squish it around a little. So. Break it up a little bit. Just like you would any kind of tuna fish, just kind of break it up. Okay, now the other thing that I also found that works really well with this particular recipe is now it tastes good on its own with just the honey Dijon and the tuna. But I like a little bit more of a flavor to it, so I actually add red onions. As you can see, I actually have them pre-cut. 
I have found lately that this is a much better way to do things. Um, because then you can just, I want a snack, grab a pouch of tuna, red onions already cut, just throw a few in, throw some sauce, and I'm ready to go. So I'm going to throw a few of these little red onions in here. And then, you know, oops. and then you just pour the honey Dijon kind of right into it. Now I'm using a small little bowl for this because it's just a snack for me. If this was going to be my lunch, I would use like a really big bowl and I would use two of those pouches or a full can. But if I'm just looking for a little munchy snack in between meals, this is really good. It doesn't take much to kind of put together. So I use this little bowl just for dishes purposes. But you see, that's it. Tuna fish, this, and red onion. So that's one of my little snacks, and it works out great whether I'm at home or if I need it at work. I bring the pieces separately. Okay, um, next snack. This particular snack, um, I'm actually going to show you two of them in one shot. Um, but like I think I may have mentioned earlier, I'm doing a bunch of snacks because we all can make healthy meals. It's the snack stuff that kills us, or at least that's what kills me. So we're going to be doing stuff with these. Egg life, um, egg white wraps. Now, like I said, I'm not plugging any particular company or product. There's lots of different egg white egg wraps out on the market. Lots of different stores carry them. I just personally happen to use this one. So that's what we're going to use. And we're going to make two different snacks with these. So hang on, let me grab some stuff that I need. I'll be right back. Okay, so the first one we're going to do is we're going to make nachos and chips. Um, so you're going to take one of the tortillas, the egg white tortillas, and you're going to cut it like a pizza pie in eight little triangle slices. Now, I personally happen to use a pizza cutter, and I wish I could angle this so you could actually see me cutting these with the pizza cutter, but But when you're done, you get a little triangle like this. Okay, and so I took like one piece and see it kind of goes like that and slice it down. Okay, pretty easy, right? Next thing you do is you put them in the air fryer. Now you can use the toaster oven, you can put them in the regular oven and bake them. I just happen to like the air fryer and I use the air fryer a lot. It usually takes about 20 minutes and then they're going to be crispy. So you assemble them on, let me grab a tray. So you kind of assemble them on the tray so that there's room between each one. And then you stick it in the air fryer for about 20 minutes. And when you're done, you put a little thing of salsa. I happen to use Newman's Own, but you can use any brand of salsa you wish. This one just happens to have the lowest amount of sugar on the market. And then you get you know, um, this which is, as you can see here, here are the, um, here they are toasted. Uh, some of them got a little bit burnt, so you have to be careful, then a little cup of there. And that's a nice snack. So that's one snack that you can do. The other snack you can do with these, um, hang on, let me put these into the, so as those are cooking, um, the next thing that I wanna do is, I don't know if I've shown this recipe before or not, um, but they're basically again taking the tortillas and I like sometimes just to have like a little constant bite thing up like this which doesn't and I don't always have time to make my tortillas like I'm making right now so I make little rolls okay so use mustard because obviously you can't use mayonnaise or anything like that and then I use sliced ham can also use turkey or any of them. I tend to use turkey more than the ham, but I have the ham that's left, so that's what I'm using today. And 
obviously it'll be really dry with just a piece of meat and the little egg thingy here. So I use mustard. Okay. So I'll show you what I do with them. Hang on. Okay. I tried to move the phone so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I took the mustard and I put it on and then I used a knife and I kind of spread it out a little bit. Okay. I know it's kind of weird looking when you spread it out, but that's, and like I said, this is so simple. You just take your lunch meat, put it there and you just roll it up. Now you can eat it just like this. Or what I like to do, because three bites and it's gone, is I like to take them, I use my knife, and I cut them. So now I have a little bite size piece, and I get a lot more bite size pieces. So instead of having three rolls, which is what a usual snack is, where it's like a couple bites and they're gone. I cut them all up like this. And now I have a snack that I can keep reaching for, which is kind of a cool thing. So, sorry you had to see my... So, that's the second snack. Just meat rolls. Or sandwich rolls. As I said, you just have this nice little cute sandwich here. And then you can just pop it eat it and you're not having to hold the whole thing and you're not just going to scruff it down. It's like, hmm, I'm still hungry because you've got a whole bunch you can pop in your mouth. Okay, so that's that one. So that's three, I think.